Hey, Hellcats. Excuse <coughs> me. Oh, today I'm going to uh, show you a couple other, couple other exercises to practice to work on your timing and your speed. Oh, and finger placement. Uh, the first one is timing and speed. Uh, the second one. Lord. Anyway, the second one will be for finger placement. And then after that, um, I uploaded a video yesterday with uh, a tune, uh, a couple different portions of a tune. I'm going to run through that again and uh, put them together to show you one day of practice, uh, steady practice. I practiced quite a bit yesterday. I didn't get to uh, practice last night and then uh, this morning when I got up like I normally try to do to learn something new and to get uh, if you do that um, If you want to learn something new the best way to do uh, The best way to do it is to practice it before you you know before bed or uh, No, not right before bed, but practice it in the evening and then first thing in the morning when you get up practice it again It'll help immensely but uh, the first one, we'll start up here. You can actually see what I'm doing. The first one, we're going to start with uh, just standard playing and then eighth notes uh, thrown in here and there, just to, just to get your just to get that down for you. Uh, what that'll do is uh, help you to be able to switch between quarter notes or half notes and eighth notes. Uh, without you having to stop and think about it as far as the timing goes I mean you're still gonna have to obviously you're not gonna be playing you know you're not gonna be playing that uh, on a normal basis so anything you do is gonna be different from what you practice but this is just to work on your timing all all of all of your practicing is nothing more than working on your timing and your dexterity that's that's all practice is it doesn't teach you how to play learning songs teaches you how to play learning scales and all that but anyway so this is the this is the practice I'm doing two at a time and then two but you got six strings so if you do it like that you'll notice all you're really doing is switching up which two strings you're playing slow and which two strings you're playing fast that that's it so you'll want to throw a single in there as well throw a single in there randomly and that will also change it from you doing too slow too fast too slow and then sliding up and then starting out fast into uh, doing one fast and then having to slide up and go with eight notes all right yeah, that that actually makes a bit of a difference but anyway that's uh if you if you do that the the typical that everybody does it takes a while um, if you throw in some eighth notes it'll get you through it a little bit quicker so that's a bonus if you want to call it that but 
just make sure you do it with your metronome. See, my metronome is on my phone. I can't record and do it at the same time. I'm apparently too damn lazy to go out and buy one. But I think there's one on the Nux, but I just I don't know enough about it yet to really use I need to look into that. Anyway, so that's the first one. The second one is going to be, this is, this is for finger placement and dexterity, okay? This will not help you with your timing unless you uh, do it specifically to a metronome. But you're going to be playing, instead of four notes, you play five notes and then six notes. playing five all right going down to the next string and then starting over up here I'm just not stopping when I do that focus you jerk anyway do that all the way down <laughs> you can hear when I'm switching strings. I know you can't really see it all that well, but you can hear it. Pick the right damn string, we might be able to do this. Okay. You can also uh, go, you know, two on two and then two. Move string. Next string. Next string. Just to kind of climb between the strings. Totally up to you how you want to do it. If you want to do either one of those. But this will help you to differentiate your fingers from one another as opposed to this. Because if you're if you're just running through all four fingers on one string and then next string and then next string, that has a bad habit of teaching you to plant that index finger. See? And then moving everything down at the same time. And planting all of your fingers. That's not what you want to do. want to, after you hit the note and you go to the next one, you want to be releasing pressure with the last finger that you picked with, unless you're, unless you're tapping or you're going back to that, but if you're not going back to that same finger, like especially during your practices, you want to be really every time you pick a note, you want to be releasing pressure with the previous finger. See what, see what I mean? You don't want to keep holding down because that's what wears your fingers out. Not to mention, gets you in the bad habit, terrible habit, of planting that first finger until you have to move it and at that point if you're playing with any speed when you move it you just pluck that damn string when you move it well I'm not doing it but you get into a bad habit of doing it anyway you don't want to be planting that damn finger you want to be letting off pressure each time you hit a new note. See what I'm saying? Anyway, 
on to the other business. Oh, see if I can't play this a little bit cleaner today. practicing kiddos as long as you practice you'll uh you get, like yesterday i didn't make too terribly many mistakes since everything was brand new and uh it's the first time i played it but that's just because i practiced so much other stuff and today i get through it fairly cleanly with a uh, little alteration from yesterday but I'm, I'm sure you heard that but uh it's just consistency is all all that really matters. But anyway, practice, keep keep at it, and if you got any questions, let me know.